Hi guys, got something a bit different to show you today. You may have seen the last few pictures on our Facebook page. I actually have some gold teeth in. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know where they've gone. I've just seemed to have misplaced them again. That's the second set I've lost. Um, so I'm just going to show you a super quick way and super cheap on how to make some temporary gold teeth for if you can't afford proper ones, which I can't. I'm not taking the credit for this. Lee Douglas Brown told me how to do it. So it all starts off with these, which are actually just false nails, but they're in shiny gold. So I'm going to show you kind of how to do it really. So let's go to it. So you will need a mirror and as light as possible really. So basically the idea is you keep cutting this to shape and you keep sort of holding it against your tooth until you get it the right shape. So if I just do that now and then I can show you the next step. So. Okay, so I've just started cutting around and I've got kind of, I'm just sort of holding it against, oh yeah, look at the reflection on that. I'm just holding it against my tooth every now and again. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, oh. So as you can see, I've cut the basic shape of the top of my tooth against the gum line. Get as close to the gum line as you can because obviously it'll work better. So I'm just going to keep cutting it until I get the right shape. probably better off using something like some nail scissors, proper nail scissors to do this, but I seem to have misplaced them. So I'm having to use big scissors, which makes it much more awkward. That is about right. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so I've kind of got it to the desired shape and size, which is about that. Like that. You can see that. Right, okay, so I was I was gonna do three, but I haven't got enough gold nails. I've got some more arriving hopefully tomorrow. So I'll just do it with the one so you can get an idea and then see where you go from there. So Next up you'll need is this, which is polynorph plastic or thermoplastic, depends, whatever you call it. Um, just like little little white beads of plastic that melt in hot water. So what you want to do is pour a few in a measuring jug, pour freshly boiled water right onto them. You probably can't see, but they go transparent. You can kind of see in there. They go, they go transparent from white. So you just give that a minute to uh, melt, and then what you want to do is just, you've got to be careful here because it is bloody hot. You take a chunk, like that, and you push it up against your teeth, whichever teeth you're doing. So. And the best thing to do, you've got to get it as thin as possible without it making holes in it, basically. So once I've done that, I've got it kind of moulded to my teeth. You've got to make it as tight as possible so it will stay in. Then you take your tooth that you've made and push it against plastic while it's still warm. So that will leave an imprint. Basically, once you've got it positioned in your mouth and moulded to shape, yeah, it's a bit awkward, but you have to run your mouth under cold water because you don't want to pull it out while it's still warm because it'll bend. So try and run it under cold water while it's still in your mouth and it will harden to the shape. And then you've got a perfect fit that just goes in and out like that. It's quite difficult to um, Hot once it's hardened, but you have yeah, to be really careful with it. You probably can't see, but it's got the imprint of the gold tooth there. So, next thing to do is just glue that on, and then you're done. So, once you've done that and you've glued all the teeth in place, you should have something that looks kind of like that. So, yeah, it's not like spot on, 
but you know it's better than spending five, six hundred, I don't know, however much on uh, gold teeth. So it does the job and it's just a nice little feature to have as a costume. So if this has helped then let me know in the comments. I'd like to see that other people have got some use out of this. So thanks Lee for giving me the tips and I hope I've helped some other people. So thanks for watching.